Washington city leaders discussing the next steps in a flood risk project. The billion dollar coastal risk management project would build a seawall around the peninsula to help flooding and storm surge. This is Lexi Moore joins us live from the Battery in downtown Charleston. Lexi, you heard from city leaders tonight on why the project is crucial for the future of flood protection. Brendan, city leaders say this seawall is necessary for the future of storm surge, especially right here at the Battery. Now, Mayor John Teckler tells me he's ready to get the groundwork running on the design phase of this project to keep the holy city from ending up underwater. Historic Charleston threatened by rising tides and floodwaters. Much more needs to be done. And tonight, city leaders are starting the next steps in an almost four year long process with the Coastal Flood Risk Management Study. Incorporates protection not just against a storm, but a storm surge, but also against tidal flooding. Uh, uh, drainage concerns when it rains. The Army Corps of Engineers and city leaders have been drafting plans that look at the impacts from flooding storms and hurricanes on the peninsula. Through that study, officials have suggested a 12 foot storm surge wall that will cost $1.1 billion to help storm impacts for homes and businesses. And we have to make it navigable, accessible to people so that, you know, this, this structure will be there, but most of the time, it won't be working. It'll be open and people will be able to navigate it and go back and forth. We'll forget about it. Dale Morris, the city's resilience officer, says making sure the seawall is aesthetically pleasing is what city leaders are pushing for in the next steps with the design phase. One important thing is the Army Corps of Engineers has already agreed to start the design phase with their experts on adding more nature-based features into the structure. Mayor Tecklenburg says protecting the flooding and beauty of the city is crucial while building the seawall. We need to protect our city, but Charleston is such a beautiful place, such a historic beautiful place. We're very mindful about the design, the aesthetics of what things look like. City leaders tell me they expect the construction of the seawall to start by 2027. Reporting live in downtown Charleston, I'm Lexi Moore, Kennel 2.